Come one, come all, welcome to the set of CJ's first cooking show. I am CJ, right over here is Nate. That's it? So you want to start it? Yeah. Right over there is Ethan. I guess. Yeah. Great going, CJ. Good Should job, CJ. That? Yeah. No, we're staying. Dang it. All right, guys, so pumped. <laughs> <laughs> so pumped that you guys are here today. It is a glorious day in Florida. It is perfect weather. It is. To make some Mongolian beef noodles. Oh, in Florida? In Florida. That's Very perfect. This is the day. You. This is the day. Very now, regional of you. Uh, before we get going, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification, the bell so you get notifications yeah. every time uh, we have a new episode, especially my show and Betty's show and Todd's show and Destination Don't Delicious do that. and Bruce. And that's it. Bring on it. Today really is going to be a fun one. If you are into that Asian style Mongolian. cuisine at <laughs> all, Boom. today I'm going to be making Mongolian beef noodles. This is not necessarily authentic, although I don't know if Mongolian beef is authentic. Ask but I'm Genghis Khan. <laughs> today I'm going to be doing kind of my own little twist to it. Definitely doing it with noodles and not with rice. It's going to be fun. It's going to be quick. It's going to be easy and delicious. Just the way I like it. It's time to cruise, my friends. Now, right here, I have got, this is actually one of the things that is not going to be authentic. Typically, when you make Mongolian beef, you use flank steak. Huh. Then you can, some people can do it with skirt, but I don't want to do either one of those. I wanted some of the delicious fat from ribeye. It's, it's a little, little like cheesesteak, but it's kind of thicker. I would say it's more like on like the roast beef side of things as far as thickness goes. So I've got some cornstarch corn here. Starch. And this is going to be the agent. And actually, we're going to do like, I don't know, let's just say. Agent J? <laughs> yeah, that. Agent K. Yeah, that too. Sorry. I'm actually going to add some soy sauce. This is, if you don't know this, oh. uh, cornstarch is kind of the agent that helps thicken up a sauce. True, and um, it keeps it crisp. And it's also gonna assist in this occasion to assist crisp. Assist in the crisp. Assisting in the crisping. The crispy assistant. Um, and instead of kinda just like using- like you on my show. Whatever. Instead of just using traditional oil, which I could, I could have just used like some av avocado oil or olive oil. I'm gonna be using some other mm, things that will compound so the delicious flavors that make this really, the, the yeah, flavor. the delicious things. Now, if you need to add a little bit extra cornstarch or some of the other oils, do that. But that, my friends, is done. Essentially, what you want to do is make sure you coat everything nice so your beef Even gets crispy. Cool and then also, when it gets in there with the other sauce, it's gonna thicken up a little bit. So set that aside and wait for that. Actually, in a perfect world, you could do this, let it sit in the fridge for like an hour or two. Oh. And uh, let it actually up. marinate. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's right. But Easy. in the meantime, it's time to get to our vegetables. Now, today, I am gonna be using a red bell pepper. So we're gonna de-pith, as de always. I like to, uh, I learned this from Nate. I will give credit when credit is due. I like to cut off the top, the bottom, give it a slice down the side, and then just roll. That gets rid of the pith very easily, very quickly, then also makes it so you can do a nice, quick julienne on these. So I'm gonna julienne. King julienne? I like to move it, move it. Uh, so we're gonna do a julienne on our red bell pepper as well as our yellow onion. You could use white onion as well. And honestly, if you wanted to, you could just cube these up into like little small half inch, inch, like just square cubes. They call that dice? Dice. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Uh, of course, along with that, you see I've got some green cabbage. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right now and set it aside. We're not gonna add this to the griddle at the same time because it will wilt really quickly. So let's get our griddle cruising behind us. I've got that set on preheating, should I say, on medium. And we're gonna add down a little bit of olive oil and let's go ahead and throw those bell peppers and those onions mm. onto the griddle. We want them to start cooking first because I wanna get a little less bite than I would normally want. We're gonna add our beef. Gonna throw down just a hair or a, a shave and a hair cut. And we're gonna put our beef down and let that start to caramelize and crisp up. And my friends, let's take a break because we've got a lot going on here. Not too many more steps. And we are on our way to the races. Next step, we are making sauce, my friends. Sauce me. Sauce me, Seymour. Sauce me all night long. <laughs> <laughs> our beef is cruising, our veggies are cruising. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of seasoning. So right over here to our bell peppers and onions, 
Gonna add a pinch oh, nothing special. of kosher pepper. salt. Just yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, at this stage, because we're gonna be doing a lot of really delicious sauce here in a second. And let's go ahead and season some of this beef as well. As opposed so, to the not delicious sauce you normally do? Sometimes sauces don't work out the way you want. And on this show, I will be honest enough with you that if I screw up, you're gonna know about it. I say that because I've screwed up it's before. Not gonna happen today. <laughs> not, gonna not, happen happening. Today. not happening today. Let me give this a toss. Let's get these bell peppers and onions. It smells so good. Around. Oh yeah. Dude, beef and onions. What is it's it? It's just it's just a thing, bro. It's what's for dinner. Okay, let's go ahead and start flipping our beef as well. Oh, oh really? gosh. Alright, this is the perfect sign. We need to start cruising on our sauce because that caramelization is what I'm looking for. Boom. And uh, with this, you're not you're, you're not gonna be able to cook to a temp that you're like, oh I want my Mongolian beef like medium rare. No, it's all well done. It's just all gonna be well done. It's all about the flavor and honestly. When you give it some time, I'm gonna turn this down. To cook like that, the fat starts to slowly render, mm. therefore making it a little more delightful on the old delectable palate, if Delicious. you will. All those things. All the D's. Oh, all the D's. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Now let's get to this sauce. This is a pretty basic sauce. We're gonna start with some soy. Uh, now with every good Asian dish, soy sauce is a pretty big part uh, in that. Yep. Once we finished with soy, we're moving on to our rice vinegar. We want a bit of that vinegar punch. And now, if it's, it, oyster sauce to me feels like the perfect mixture between sweet and savory. Mm, it's like so the, the utility knife of Don't sauces for itself, Asian food. Oh no, no. Add it to your sauce. Add it to your sauce. Of course, following that, we're gonna get some extra sweet with some hoisin. It's kind of like a, like a barbecue Asian sauce. Barbecue, yeah. Asian barbecue sauce. Now, normally I would love to do fresh ginger, but I want the consistency as well as some of that garlic that is also a paste. It mixes well, it does well. Yeah, Just looking. ignore the fact that it comes out of a tube. It's really and good dude, looking. this really Easy. is fantastic. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is before we got going, I actually started making oh, some rice noodles that have been hanging out over here. This mm. does not take long at all, but those are officially done. Chilling out, Max. Relaxing, Relaxing all cool. cool. And they're shooting, shooting some, some b-ball outside, outside of the school. school. Did a couple of guys. They they're were up to no, no good. good. Started making trouble. You guys do this so much. No, In we don't. my neighborhood. We've done it a time I or two. I got one little. Okay, I've got a handful of cabbage here. We're gonna go ahead and Jeez. add this in. I love cabbage. I don't know what it is about cabbage, but I freaking love cabbage. Probably and what I'm gonna do delicious. to get that cooking process going is I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. Mm. Give that a quick. Quick toss around. One, two. Give it the old one and two. And you know what I'm gonna also do? On each knee. I'm gonna bring it on. Down to Veganville. Uh, the smells amazing. Process. Now, cabbage does cook down quick, and you can add a lot. I know it seems like there's a ton in there, but honestly, give it a second. It's gonna wilt down, not to be nearly as prevalent, but my friends, it's also time. It's time. It's sauce it, time? It is time. We're gonna add some of our sauce here. Oh, and this. I imagine where, that's going to thicken up and reduce a bit too. It right? does. It does. It's like as a matter glaze, of fact. A gloss. A nice glossy sheen. I'm going to save just a little bit just in case we need some additional. And now so good. we've got some magic happening. Now, traditionally, you don't even need the noodles. You really don't. Um, but, you know, when you eat Asian food, you've got your rice, you got your noodles, and it's really, really freaking awesome. Now, while that is cooking down, I'm actually. Gonna scoop no, that. We, we got some extra energy over here because it's been on low and nothing's been over there. Yeah. So I'm gonna kind of just move this over here and let that finish cooking down. While that is cruising, one last thing over here. This Garny. is for a bit, actually a little bit of garnish, as well as throwing it it's into the night, mix. Friday night, you gotta dress this dish up. <laughs> it's not in the town. <laughs> gotta get you ready for the ball. Well, Mom, Cinderella, we gotta get you ready for the ball. <laughs> We're gonna cut the bottom of the white of this green onion off. Then I'm gonna move up about halfway. I'm gonna okay. set this aside. And then this, oh. this is gonna be my garnish. You only want that punch. I do want that punch. We don't need a ton of it, but um, just a little bit to go over the top. We're gonna set that aside. Now I've got the top greens, the top oh, greens. You're doing the white separate from the greens? I am, as a matter of fact. You, and you. You ready for this? Yeah. I'm gonna do it on the bias, so Whoa. I have nice, long, elegant cuts. Take it easy. Well, take it easy, take it easy. This is actually going in the dish right now, because I want that to cook. Now we've got those nice, long strip. Mm. It's gonna add a punch of flavor and some real pretty, vibrant green okay. color. And we don't want that. Honestly, this is just about done. 
I add that at the very end because those green onions, they don't need to cook down. I do want the color, I want the flavor, the crunch. And the crunch, dude, look at all that. Let me grab my plate. Let's get to some business as they, oh, wait, oh. I guess that's the business we're talking about. It's been a long, long drought. It's true. It's true. It's true. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Our noodles are done. Like I said earlier, I had um, pre-cooked them. And dude, these rice noodles, they cook. Ethan, should I do them on the side or should I pile everything on them? <laughs> it literally does not matter. But I would still like to know you're what not... you think. What were they? Rice noodles. No, no, no. Pile on it? On the side. Oh, pile it. Do I make Bottom. It? Base. All the way. Okay, I agree with you this time. We're going to do that. Should definitely not do that. How about we just put them off to the side? <laughs> Sometimes I just kill myself. We're going to do this. Okay. <laughs> no. I gave you the old one, two. I'm going to add a few more. We're going to throw those in there. And this is really where um, that little bit of extra sauce is going to come into play. And now, my friends, it is time to play. If we need to, at the very end, if we decide that the noodles are just not glazy enough. We can add, you know, a little bit of soy sauce to kind of coat things, but yeah. to be, look at this, dude. It smells amazing. We don't we don't need any extra. We've got plenty of sauce. We don't need roads. Well, we're going, we don't need roads. God, I love that cereal. Hey, Ethan, you want to uh, help me out? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want, CJ? <laughs> Poo, what do you need? <laughs> what do you need? Just don't drop Dang, you two jobs recording. at one time. Stop recording. Well, I'm, I'm still recording. Okay. It's my only gross. job. I can do it. I have one job on this lousy ship. Oh, oh. Dude, don't don't get my plate dirty. Now I'm gonna have to wipe my plate off because yeah, that's with totally my his fault. Because you know if oh, oh, hot, hot noodles, oh, it's all over hot. my hand. All right, let's do it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, okay, touche. Ethan, now you're gonna garnish it. I do want to scoot this in. Can you take this on Hold the on. Oh, can you clean no, the plate? It's, I don't want to get it on the camera. Okay, fair enough. Jeez, what a mess this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow. Getting all, getting all the clip. We just went off the rails. <laughs> I had one in my pocket. Let's clean that plate up right there. Now that that's done, and this we're gonna. Looks and smells amazing, bud. Thank you, sir. I was talking gonna... to Ethan. No key. Okay. <laughs> all right. On top with a little bit of green onion. We've actually got plenty of green and red going on there. That, my friends, is how you make Mongolian beef noodles. Honestly, these noodles, they're so dreamy, dude. They dreamy. mix so well. Speaking of dreamy, hey CJ, did you know? That Dream Theater's largest song and their first song, Pull Me Under. had a very, very high uh, radio time, a, a lot of airplay, even though neither the band nor the label actually organized any of it. Wait, who organized it? I, they're just that good. It's magic. It was a dream theater. <laughs> okay. Here's the dream theater in Mongolian beef. Not authentic, however, this Delicious. looks awesome. Yes. It smells yes. amazing. Couple things that are not traditional. Number one, the sliced ribeye. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, cabbage. Small hands. But truthfully, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's a it's an Asian American dish. We kind of have some leverage, like some leniency. Yes, really we've got some skin. leniency on what we can do here. It's like fantastic Chinese takeout. But Mongolian takeout. My friends. Wow. So we got th that Can't glazy, the green onion. crispy. I'm a fan. Dude, this is. Let's just stop talking. It doesn't yeah. matter. It's so shiny too. The sauce really turned into a glaze. Mmm. Glazy goodness. You definitely want to have mm. a nice thin piece. Dang. And then you want to have that alongside some nice bell pepper. And then, the and noodles, then alongside that are not some cabbage. Side. Bam. Those sauces really came together nicely. I don't think there's anything I would do different. Except for adding shiitake mushrooms. I 100%. Oh, they would go a long would way. Would never. If somebody made it in there, they'd be fine. I would just pick them out. Of Such the a way. baby. Such a baby. Dude, they're just gross. Okay. Leave it in the comments. Who's mushrooms? Let me know. Definitely. No. I mean, yes, but no. Um, that being said, 
comment time. You're in the comments already. How about we transition to said CJ's favorite comments of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. All right, welcome, my friends. If this is your first time viewing, number one, leave a comment down below letting hey, well, me know that you're new viewers. Far. I mean, it's been a hike to get to it's here. Been, it's been a bit of a trot, if yeah. you will. It's not like a Forrest Gump across the country thing. Fight. That day, for no particular reason, I decided to go for a little run. Uh, because in this situation, guys, if you write it. We read it. And I love to see what you have to say. So. The good or the bad. We'll give it a chance for everybody to enjoy what yeah. you had to say. So here we go, let's have a good chuckle or two. Starting from the top in no particular order, this first one comes from James Bramlett or Bramley. Bromlet. Bromlet. Like a romlet? Yeah, or Romulan, <gasps> who makes omelets. Isn't that right, Spock? Okay, this one comes from James, he says, this looks awesome. Nate always cracking on you is annoying. Yeah, He's I know He's definitely that. jealous. Of what? You guys rock. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh give it up for old Romulet. Romulan uh, I do appreciate you. I didn't want to read this one, but I laughed. Uh, oh. Josh S or Juke? Josh S says CJ is just the Blackstone version of Guy Fieri. He's Josh the version. Of Guy Fieri. I don't have hair That's fine. like him. I mean, that guy's really successful. And millions of people love him. He's a great yeah. game show host. Yeah. Terrible cook, but a great game show host. Yeah! I'm gonna ring to that! Yay! Oh, all right. Okay. Help you trip into oncoming traffic. <laughs> Coming in from William Johnson. William says, I think this is the second time I've heard the name Dave be said about the board. Dave. Are you guys Are you guys Dave Matthews fans? No. Number one, yes I am. Number no. two. We're referring to the, the Dave. Dave, not Ah Dave. Dave. His name Dave. is Dave. Dave. I like Grold. I like Grold. That was a that was a okay. deep dive into All Austin right. Powers, but that was good. I will give it <laughs> yeah. to you. Yes, we like Dave Matthews, but here we honor the Grold. The Grold. All right, this one is coming in from Fishin's. Fish and Stout Doors. Fish and Stout Doors. Stout Doors, is he a beer fan? I a Stout fan? Possibly he likes to like fish it. and drink beer. Uh, fish and says, been trying to replicate your recipes on a 17 inch, upgraded to a 36 Boom. inch. Holy shnikes. Now we're going to show the world a thing or two. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna show you, Nate, and little E are awesome. Keep the cooking and quotes coming. That's great. Him's just a widow. I'm a little guy. My hands are little, my features are small, my shoulders slope down, you know, I'm a little guy. Uh, Michael Roberts says... Is that Julia's bro uh, brother? Sometimes you're good, sometimes you're not good. What about sometimes that Sometimes you're crap, and that was that one. And may God have mercy on your soul. Michael Roberts says, not funny, hope your food is good. Hmm. Poop is good. It's pretty good. It's pretty funny pretty too. Pretty funny. Oh, I think, I think, I think, both. <laughs> that was the best use of that line ever. Okay. All right, Mark Woodard, Woodard, Woodard. not sure, uh, says the bell is cruel and undue punishment for us ear pod folks. Oh. I would imagine with that little guy in Can there. Can you soft? A little soft. Let's look. <laughs> wow, I knew he was a jerk all this time. Little E. Big E. Small. Little Big E. Skadoosh. 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 What the? That, my friends, is how we wrap up an episode of CJ's First Cooking Show. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Give this Mongolian beef noodle a try. Lots of fun. Lots of flavor. It's really delicious. Very easy to cook. Oh, yeah. uh, so go to blackstoneproducts.com to find this recipe and tons of others from all the other cooks on this channel. Also go to griddlenation.com where you can find awesome shirts Yay. like this. Um, if you want to put something up on the OG board. With Dave. Le with old Mr. Grohl, the Dave, not a Dave. Um, <laughs> let me know, I'll send you an address where you can ship that off. But in the meantime, my friends, this is CJ's first it cooking is. show where we cook and we quote. That's right. Also, it's a party. Nah, dude.
Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next episode.